Today, let's talk about gluten. I'm sure by this point you've all heard the word gluten. Gluten is in everything. It's in your foods, in your cereal, it's in your flour, it's in your salad dressings, it's in your sauces that you add to, to your stir fries, it's in your beer, your tofu, and a whole other number of foods. Why is it everywhere? Because with the advent of agriculture, we started to use more and more grain products. And grains that contain gluten include wheat, barley, triticale. Gluten-free grains are rice, buckwheat, teff, quinoa, amaranth. So what is gluten? Gluten is a protein contained within the kernel of a grain that I just listed, for instance, wheat. So there's a uh, distinction between wheat and gluten. Wheat is a type of flour, it's a type of, excuse me, type of grain, whereas gluten is a protein contained within wheat being the grain, and as well as triticale and rye and barley. So w make sure that you understand that distinction when you're shopping and you see wheat-free products versus gluten-free products. Wheat-free means it contains no wheat being the grain versus gluten meaning the protein that is within the gluten-containing grains. As the agriculture became larger and larger, we started to add more and more grains to all the products we started to develop more and more sensitivities and eventually we became intolerant. And I'm sure some of you have heard of celiac disease. Well, that's simply a gluten intolerance, which may cause weight loss, it may cause nutritional defici deficiencies, mineral deficiencies, it can lead to osteoporosis, infertility in men and women. Gluten sensitivity doesn't have to be that drastic yet it may still cause a lot of symptoms, including fatigue, difficulty sleeping, joint pains and aches, muscle aches, hormone imbalances, it can exacerbate seasonal allergies. I have yet to see gluten being beneficial to one's health. So my suggestion, if you do have a sensitivity, or if you have an intolerance, and you may want to obviously eliminate the grain, but you may consider doing a lab test, like a blood test. Now, f make sure you don't eliminate gluten before you do the blood test, because what happens is it may skew the blood, blood test. Now, if you don't necessarily have an intolerance, but a sensitivity with some of the symptoms I listed, fatigue or joint pain, pain and ache, pains and aches, yeah, or difficulty sleeping, poor concentration, memory. Do try eliminate gluten because it, you may find that those symptoms may resolve. No medications, but a simple try of eliminating gluten. Let us know what you think.